Hello, I'm DJ Cole, a technical marketing engineer at Cisco in our industrial networking group. This video will introduce the Cisco Catalyst Industrial Wireless 9167i wireless access point. Now, before I get started with that, I'd like to mention this is just one of the Cisco Catalyst Industrial Wireless 9160 family of access points. We also have the Cisco Catalyst IW9167e wireless access point, the Cisco Catalyst IW9165E wireless access point, and the IW9165D wireless access point. So, be sure to check these out as well. Now, here is the Cisco Catalyst Industrial Wireless 9167I access point. This is a Tri-Radio 4x4 802.11ax access point. Tri-Radio means there are three data serving radios, a 2.4 GHz radio, a 5 GHz radio, and a 6 GHz radio. For 6 GHz operation, since this access point has a weatherproof case, it will be classified as a standard power device requiring AFC control. 6 GHz operation will be allowed in software once regulatory approval is received and the AFC service is enabled. In addition to the data radios, this access point also has a built-in GNSS receiver, an auxiliary scanning radio, and an IoT radio supporting BLE, Zigbee, and Thread. Now, what makes this access point truly unique is the wide range of deployment locations and use cases it can be used for. Basically, anywhere you need Wi-Fi, whether it be outdoor, harsh, or industrial locations. Mounting the access point is simple. Using the built-in mounting flanges, it can be either mounted in a wall or ceiling orientation without any additional bracket. Brackets are also available for pole mounting, and the access point has integrated mounting points to accommodate many of the mounting brackets used in previous generations of Cisco access points. Now, let's take a closer look at some of the interfaces on the access point. This access point can be powered by PoE or 24 to 48 volt DC power. This is the 4 pin microfit DC power connector. Next to it is the multi gigabit RJ45 Ethernet connector supporting 100 meg, 1 gig, 2.5 gig, and 5 gig links. This is also the PoE in port. UPoE or an 802.3 BT power source with at least 45 watts of power is required for full operation. Limited performance is also available using a PoE Plus or 802.3 AT power source. Next is the SFP Plus port supporting 1 gig or 10 gig copper or fiber modules. Next to it is the status LED light, RJ45 console port, and reset button. This opening has a port cover that is attached to the access point. Many times, the AP is installed at heights, and this prevents the cover from being dropped and accidentally lost. As I will show you in a second, all of the ports come with port covers to maintain the IP66-67 rating of the access point when a port is not in use. On this side of the access point is the grounding point. A dual hole lug is supplied with the access point to use this connection. On top of the access point is one of the GNSS windows that allows for a clear view of the sky when the access point is mounted in a wall mount orientation. A second window is mounted on the back of the access point. This window allows for a clear view of the sky when the access point is mounted facing down. On the last side of the access point is a vent to allow for pressure equalization between the inside and the outside of the access point while maintaining the IP rating. As I mentioned, port covers are included for all ports. Additionally, a cable gland is supplied with the access point to maintain the IP rating when using an RJ45 cable with PoE. Additional glands are available for using the DC power or using the SFP Plus port. We also have an optional M12 adapter. It's easy to field install and allows for converting the RJ45 port to an 8-pin Xcode M12 connector. It can be simply inserted and tightened with a screwdriver. Then it's ready to connect an M12 cable to the access point while maintaining the IP rating in a harsh vibration environment. Adapters are also available to use in the SFP Plus port with a copper module to M12 and to convert the DC power connector to a 4-pin A-code M12 connector. 
That's it for this overview of the Cisco Catalyst Industrial Wireless 9167i Wireless Access Point. I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction. Have a great day.